Welcome back everyone, I'm Juliet. We worked so hard as always entire week, so today we're doing full body restorative yoga practice. Let's take care of this muscle soreness now. All right guys, so let's begin our practice today on our back. Let's begin with a good quality gentle stretches. So go ahead and lay down on your mat and give your body good, feel good, nurturing straight from the fingertips to the very end of your tippy toes. Close your eyes, take a good deep breath, inhalation through the nose and exhalation through the nose as well. Let's gently move our feet and our arms at one direction like you do in a smile with your body and take a breath up here and let's go ahead and move our legs and arms to the opposite direction we are on the floor very safe and come back to the center today we begin with the both feet in a butterfly pose if you want to put your arms aside or on top on your belly whatever feels right we will begin with just one knee at a time we're gonna lift it and breathe, guys. And lift and breathe. Let's give it just a few more extra movements and bring it up and open. Try not to resist, right? Just let the, the hip to fall wherever it can fall, whatever feels comfortable. If you need to put the pillows underneath the knees, you can do that. And one more, guys. Go ahead and bring your both knees together. Give your knees a good hugs. Very good. And we will bring the feet back in that butterfly pose. And see if you can do two knees at a time. Just inhalation, exhalation, starting to work with our hips today. And then we gently move in a few minutes from the spine position to our kneeling position, seated position. And let's do just a couple more, in and out, and just one more, and let those knees, guys, to sit where they can. Try to find the place where it feels right, when it feels good. Again, if you need to put some pillows or some cushions underneath for support, definitely do that. Very good. Let's bring our both feet slowly, hips width apart. Grab that one shin or ankle and press that leg, that quadris of the top part of your leg towards the belly and chest. That feels so good. And let's go ahead and extend that leg. My legs are so sore after this week. All the way in. Let's go and do it from the other side. Press that quadricep towards the belly. Take a breath and extend that leg. It feels like that soreness is never leaves my body. So many workouts, but I love it. When it's not sore, it feels kind of straight. All right, guys, we're gonna take our arms all the way to the side and we continue with a little knee side to side, like a windshield. Try to keep your shoulders and shoulder blades on the floor and just give it a few extra movements. That's it, good job. And we're gonna keep those knees on one side only and we're gonna step across that knee all the way and just hold it for the couple more breaths. Feels so nice. And now guys, see if you can bring that knee a little bit more across and add a, add a little bit more back straighten, good. In through that nose, and out through that nose. That feels amazing. Let's go ahead and draw the knees to the other side. And first, see if you can step over and just hold it for the few seconds, for the few breaths. Just let the body to get used to the new form. And then see if you can bring that knee a little bit deeper. That feels amazing on the lower back and the hamstring. And that knee, guys, doesn't have to go all the way till the floor at all. Just whatever you can do. 
come on back to the center and we continue guys with the little one leg bicycle just keep your other leg on the floor and support it and just flex the feet point the toes just work with your own breath rhythm it doesn't have to be fast but try guys to extend that leg all the way and then draw it all the way through and if you have uh, back injuries this is a very good exercise and now point your toes and go for the gentle inward outward any direction we're going to do both hip circles and then let's go ahead and reverse it all the way and let's do just a couple more very good and just one more good job and go ahead and switch your legs for the bicycle first and push with the heel pull with the toes very good this is, feels so good on my sore legs right now all right and just a couple more times perfect very good and let's go ahead and extend that leg we're gonna go for the few circles from one side continue to open the hips and then few circles from another direction very good and let's give it just a couple more good job and one more all right before we will come up to the seated position let's draw the knees again towards the chest all the way and then draw them on the side and if you have any neck injuries or it just doesn't comfortable like this then put your shoulders guys on the floor or if you're ready we're gonna reach a little bit farther all the way right above those hips right above those hips very good and let's go ahead and bring the shoulder blades on the floor and bring the chest up towards the ceiling just spend a couple extra breaths with me up here support your neck that feels so good on the neck and shoulders all the way slowly switch those knees to the other side guys and keep your shoulders on the floor guys or reach all the way up above the hips we add a little bit more to the side of the body breathe actively and slowly send your hands back carefully behind your head right on top on the base of your head where your neck connected to your head try to flatten guys your shoulders on the floor feels so good let it go very nice all right let's come back to the center and come up guys however it's comfortable for your body maybe you want to come up through the side maybe you want to come up with me straight forward let's go ahead and pull our glutes out reach all the way up and send your both hands guys all the way behind the feet maybe you use the strap maybe you use your shins if you can't reach and today we will fall forward by rounding the spine let the shoulders be completely relaxed pull the navel in pull your belly towards your lower back and just feel good movement in through that nose and out through that nose slowly send your heart forward just like you would be doing cat and cow breathe exactly very good power back to the round back drop the head relax your neck completely feels very very good and come on back one more time for the seated connected hands to feet couple all the way good job all right come on back to the seated position we're going to take one foot up and close if it doesn't go it's close not a big deal and just a simple half spinal twist and a basic marichyasana try guys to level your shoulders and just spend with me a few breaths here through the nose in through the nose out very nice come back to the center and open up 
that knee just like we did a butterfly at the beginning just a halfway through and we continue to open all the way against that knee opposite direction feels so good on the back and on the hips good job and let's just switch the legs all the way take your other foot up farther or closer and we're gonna go for this simple level with the shoulders half spinal twist breathe feel so good and all the way guys back to the center go ahead and take this foot towards the inner thigh and just let the knee to adapt a little bit first and then we're gonna go ahead and take one more gentle half spinal twist in and out through that nose feels very very good all right guys let's go ahead and bend those knees and put your both feet together we're gonna go for the little modified mermaid stretches all the way up 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 and then go ahead and take your hands behind and open up the heart so your knees at the same position but your hands on the floor continue to open up the heart towards the ceiling do not hold your breath come back to the center and from this half mermaid we're gonna come to the tabletop and reach one leg up all the way we already worked on the hips a little bit so now step that foot all the way to the side and just cut and count up here in a half gate pose reach up and reach back down and again one more time reach up and reach back down draw the navel in and one more guys beautiful now let's reach this arm all the way up and this is optional if it's hard for you to support the balance up here just stay with the both hands on the floor and see if you can take this hand all the way behind the lower back or maybe even towards the opposite inner thighs guys and look all the way up express with the heart very good come on back slowly hop and you're gonna find yourself in the gate pose please guys use your blocks if you have to use your blocks if you can't reach the floor and give it a feel good straight stay with me for the few nurturing breathing cycles shift the hips a little bit forward shoulders away from the ears good job all the way back to the center you will find yourself in the kneeling position use the knee pads if you have to so the one foot is lifted another foot toes on the floor for stability and we're just given this quadricep and gentle straight if you need to sit for that you can sit read up and open little modification little extra thing for the camel pose you don't need to back bend low and guys see if you can reach the ankle on that supportive leg and shift the shoulders up and forward very good for the arms all right i'm feeling it take it all the way back guys and round that spine relax the neck good job all the way and we're gonna go for the mermaid modified straight from the other side so put your both knees together feet close to each other and we just go through the gentle feel good lateral straight don't keep your body stiff and motionless roar guys it's really helpful if you connect with yourself and your body will tell you what extra movements it wants to do to feel good so let's go ahead and put the hands behind just like this and reach up express with the heart breathe actively and see guys if you can lift the hips slightly off the floor that's a little bit more intense for the shoulders and for the arms you don't have to do that take it slowly back 
pull all the way up here. Very good, guys. And come on up with me in the tabletop position. We're going to take this other leg up and step it to the side, to that gate pose. So we're gonna do a few cat and cows here, just like we did on the other side. And reach. We worked so hard this week, so our body really needs some restoration. Muscle soreness needs some relief. All right. In lazy day, Sunday, the recovery day doesn't have to be completely without movement, right? We want to move, we just want to take it a little bit slower. Body needs to move. All right, coming up. And we're gonna take it all the way to the side gate pose. Big straight hips forward, heart up, heart drop. Just a couple more press up here. Don't hurry up. Come on back to the center. Take the hands on the floor or support yourself with the both hands on the ground. And we reach up just as we did on the other side. It's optional to draw your hand behind, but if you can reach, maybe you can even reach by now into your inner thigh on the other side. Keep on breathing, guys. Here we go. Feels so good on the lower back and the shoulders. Come on back to the center. We're gonna find ourselves in the camel pose. If you can support the balance with the one foot lifted, don't worry about it, guys. Just keep your both feet on the floor for now. We're going to activate the center. We have to support the back. Back is safe and sound. And reach up. In and out with the arms. For reach up. Come back and we're going to draw this hand towards the heel. Try to square the hips back. And reach up. You're gonna feel it a lot in that arm and shoulder, which hold in that left. Come on back, guys, all the way to the floor, around that spine, and relax your neck. Let's give the toes a couple stretches. Just bring your body weight on your toes. Drop the head, relax the neck. Come on back, up, reach up and open, and draw your weight back towards your toes. That feels amazing. And take it back all the way. Cow pose. Let's do it just one more time because it feels so good. Lift the knees off the floor. Drop the hat. And one more. Cow pose. Very good. All right, guys. Take your hands a little bit to the front. Take your knees a little bit to the back. Beginners, if Cobra is not for you, you're going to go for me all the way on your elbows. This is totally fine for those who come in a little bit higher, cobra or abdo. Join me. I want your shoulders guys away from the ears and give it a few feel good movements right and left, left and right. Maybe some movements in the hips. Just a few, right? Just make it feel good. Make sure that your body is rested and it feels in the right position, right? When the asana done right, it really feels good. All right, come on down, guys, with me on your belly. And we're gonna send one elbow underneath the shoulder. We're gonna go to the side position and half bow on the side. Today, reach in, open, pull it all the way through. In and out, free your shoulders, lengthening the back, very nice. We're going to bring this leg, which you hold it, up front, just up here. And you don't have to do anything, but if there is more room, just go ahead and give a little push, right? But we're using the knee to give it a little push, but we're actually working on the hip flexor, so you can do it with your elbow. Just a little tiny push and feeling it in the hips. Feels so good. And let's come back one more time to the half bow on the side. That's it. All right. Feels so good. And all the way, come back to the center. Hold this ankle if you can. 
if you can guys don't worry about it and reach up a little bit more that feels so good come on back and we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side i'm gonna turn around a little bit so i can see you better and again let's start with the little cobra up here shoulders back just make it feel good again listen to your body your body will always tell you what feels right what doesn't i'm not telling constantly underdo but listen to it it shouldn't be painful if it's a little bit challenging that's okay i would rather you to do it and just see how the tension melts away but if it's a dozen melts away you have to change the asana you have to change the form find the appropriate for your level breathe guys and come on back with that leg to the front it doesn't have to be too close right to your hips just do what you can and maybe you have the gentle push that a little bit more room up there four guys three that feels so so pleasant to the hips grab that ankle again we're gonna do one more little half bow up here and then slowly keep the ankle connected if you can or you can undo it and then redo it again and lift that knee slowly off the ground that's it guys come on back to the center this time take your hands wider and come on up with me a little bit more inhalation and exhalation feels so good let's just roll the back lift the pelvic floor of the ground and belly a little bit take it back up let's do it one more time elbows right through lift very good come on up guys with me on the kneeling position again round the spine relax the neck take your hands and just a quick downward facing dog so we are ensure that the full body is getting straight downward facing dog is amazing 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 asana works every single muscle of your body so make sure guys that you shift the weight back towards the heels away from the knees beginners bend your knees if you have to shoulder blades apart and let's dive to the feel good I'll pose from here very nice we're going to take our right leg up and step or whatever leg you want to take first and step forward for your low light in your low light feel free to use guys your blocks on the side or use the floor or come up with me when your chest above the hips very good for the hips but it can be challenging if you're not used to that so then use the blocks right up there for support guys use the knee pads or little blankets underneath the back knee and let's just give it a few extra movements that's good nice job so go ahead and lean forward now just like you're ready to go to the little lizard pose and kick your ankle back what it does it helps us to stretch the quadricep muscle down on the back leg now if you can reach then go ahead and grab your ankles or toes but if you can continue to kick that foot towards your glute now what you don't want to do you don't want to stay square here because then your quadricep the muscle front muscle front part of your leg doesn't work really well so you have to lean through and have a pretty distance wide distance between your foot and between the back knee guys even leaning forward four three oh i feel that quadricep and i can tell you it doesn't feel really good this time it's very tense straight come on back guys take yourself back when you stuck hip above the knee 
and we're just gonna give it a half split stretch for the hamstring, for the Achilles, doesn't have to be low, use your blocks on the side to elevate, breathe dissectively, that's it, perfect, let's slowly switch the hands, come with me back to your downward facing dog, maybe bend your knees for a couple times, make those legs feel good, and then we go ahead and step forward for the low lunge for a mother's side use guys your hands on the floor or on the blocks if you can reach chest above the hips and truly relax and let the upper body weight melt through the lower body through the hips using the gravity then you don't have to use your blocks but blocks are a great great healthy option good props all right, very nice, feels good. So make sure guys that that knee is pretty far away from this ankle. Go ahead and dive like you're ready to do your lizard and then kick the back ankle up without moving your knee any closer. And you can stay just right here, that's already good. Or you can reach with any arm, right or left, toward the back ankle or toes and lean even deeper forward. That quadricep is not gonna feel good, guys, but it's really good for your legs and you're gonna feel such a relief, such a lightness in those legs later on today. Keep on breathing, guys, three, or two or five, depend how fast, how slow you're breathing. Let's slowly let go. And you're gonna stack your knee and hip on this side. Try not to fold the toes in. It's a square hips or slightly of an opposite motion. I want you to fold forward through the hip flexor, guys. Through the hip flexor. And it really doesn't have to be deep one. Try to keep the back. So the neutral all the time. That is perfect. Wait, 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 wait. All the way. Feels amazing. Come on back. Take that knee back. We're gonna take our knees. We did a little preparation for this froggy. You don't have to go, guys, for the full frog if you don't want. You can lean a little bit forward and remain your tailbone ahead of your knees. That way you're not going to experience the full froggy stretch. But if you come with me, guys, take your ankles directly behind your knees. Take your tailbone, remember we talked about it, in between those knees. That way you're really, really going to dive into those hips. So again, ankles behind the knees. If you're moving the tailbone up here to the front, you're definitely losing that frog. I want you to put those hips, the tailbone, right in between. And just if your chest doesn't go to the floor, that's okay. This is okay. Stay on your forearms up here. We're focusing on the hips right now. We're gonna give it a few extra breathing cycles. We're not going to Hold it forever today. And inhalation, guys, through the nose. Exhalation through the hips. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation through the hips. Slowly start to come up out of that froggy. Come on back, guys. Draw the knees a little bit closer. Take your both feet together, heels together, and come on up. Now, this is the feet, and this is your hips, this is your quadricep, this is your toes. Let's take our hands up front. If this is too challenging, then you have to take the blocks on the side, or just release your hands on the floor. If it's too much on your feet, close your eyes. Take a breath or two. Try to let the tension 
out and let the gravity do the work for your feet and for your toes. Very good. Come back to the center. Now, if you do have your blocks, I would recommend you to use it. I will show you really good straight for the shoulders. Blocks are great props. It's good to have those softer ones. You know, there are some more expensive blocks they made from wood, but they're not really comfortable for, for stretches like that. They might be good for support. So those are, these are really simple, really simple foam blocks. So if you don't have a blocks, so you're just gonna go on your forearms, just like this. And let your shoulders to stretch, send your chest right in between. If you do, do have a blocks, you're gonna put your forearms on the blocks, guys, and connect your hands, and we're gonna send the chest. Step your knees a little bit wider than normal, and send your chest all the way down. So that elevation gives an extra straightening for the shoulders. If you can put your forehead on the floor, that's amazing. And the most importantly, try to let the tension from the shoulders go. If you feel that you need to readjust a little bit, the same with your elbows. If you don't have a blocks, go ahead and readjust a little bit wider for the even deeper straightening. In through that nose and out through that nose. Very good job, guys. Come back to the center. Feels wonderful. Come on back up, guys. All the way. Move your blocks all the way. Make your way back. We're going to go for a halasana or plow pose. We will begin with the little legs hold up over the ceiling. And you can always make a choice to stick with that. By itself, it's very healthy, very good for your blood pressure, for overall cardiovascular health, for the heart health, right? Keep on breathing and just relax your feet. If you will decide to go for halasana with me, just remember guys, no weight on your neck. And it doesn't have to be all the way through the air. Just a few breaths up here. If that feels really good for you guys, then walk your feet slightly on one side. Mm -hmm. And then walk your feet over the other side gently. That works a little bit different parts of our back. And then return the feet back. And let's slowly bring the knees back towards the chest. Take your both hands, put them on top of your feet. Draw your tailbone towards the floor, guys. Close your eyes. Give yourself a good, healthy smile. Continue to press gently on those feet. Happy baby pose. And let's take our one leg across another. So if your right leg above the left, if your right above the left, then you're gonna take your knees to the right and face opposite direction from those knees. And it doesn't have to be a full eagle leg spine, just whatever you can. And let's slowly bring it back. Switch the legs. So if your left leg above the right, then you're gonna take your legs to the left and face opposite direction from those knees. Try to keep your shoulder size safely, comfortably on the floor of your eyes. Breath or two. Flexibility stretches yoga. Gives the body a magical power, magical energy within. That healing, that vitality, 
flexible body, guys, a light body. We need to work on the flexibility. We always need to find the time. It doesn't have to be the full 30, 40 minute class. Come on up, guys. It can be much shorter, 10, 15 minutes, and I have plenty of shorter classes. You can always go ahead and put 10, 15 minutes class and just do your morning stretches, afternoon stretches in the office, right? If you have a little break, you can do the stretches. All you need is yourself and your mat in some 10 minutes of the peaceful time, but that's gonna make a world difference. Let's take that hand behind. Those 10 magic minutes, 15 magic minutes a day makes a huge difference. All right, guys, let's take our arms all the way up. Close your eyes and draw those hands up front of this unique heart of yours. Look inside that heart, find the love, the kindness, ability to strive, desire to grow, to improve, to learn, and contribute to other people's lives. Let's open our hearts for the joy and for the smiles. Smile with your heart and flow through the rest of this precious day with unshakable love and peace inside. Namaste, everyone. Very, very good, guys. I'm so, 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 so proud of you, as always. If that was your first workout with us, please, guys, make sure to subscribe today and hit the bell button so I can remind you to stay on top on your daily fitness every single day. Comment below. Let me know how you feel after this practice and I will see you all tomorrow.